Hello. How are you all doing? I'm back. And I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. Guess what, Twitch? Welcome to DICE! Anyway, yeah. Uh, you may notice a lack of sound in this one, which is uh, welcome, actually. So, uh, how are you all doing? Yeah. Are you ready to win? Like I just did there. Okay, I have to admit, this and one one or two other games, um, I'm not certain that Nice Code actually made these, but I'm going to include them anyway, because as far as I'm aware, they would have been involved in some way. Um, so, yeah, basically, this... There are, like, multiple versions of this game credited to different companies, I think. So there's a version of this credited to Nice Code. Um, but then there's, like, another version of this credited to BBG, I think. I'm not 100% certain on that, but... Also, yeah. I'm trying to figure out the controls. It, it's easier said than done, because, like... Because here's the thing with the controls in this game. It, it's got that whole... Uh, what is it? Yeah, basically, it, it's got the whole... Um, yeah, Qbert issue where the the controls don't quite match up to the D-pad. Yeah, this does have a very Devil Dice style look to it. And it kind of makes me wish I was just playing that instead. So it's just me or do you get infinite lives in this? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it turns out that's what the BBG was the whole time. I think it actually stands for Bitter Brain Group. Though I have no idea what that means or why you would ever name your company that. It's just really weird. But um, anyway. So uh, actually, let me turn the mic up. There we go. How does that sound? Uh, okay, I'm trying to figure out which button doesn't get me killed. It's Oh. Okay, I thought I was the one. Okay, here's the problem. So the die that you're controlling and the, the die that you're trying to match the other one up to look exactly the same. So you don't know which one you're actually controlling. But there we go. Um, but yeah, it, I don't know if anyone's ever played this, but there's a Game Boy game called Coro Dice, which is basically this game. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out which die I'm supposed to be controlling. Okay, no, I messed that up. Um, but yeah, again, I'm not 100% certain that this was one of Nice Code's own games. But like I say, I'm just going to include it anyway. There is, like, at least one of a game in this stream where it kind of has the same issue. Uh, also, yeah, I'm, I'm not great at this. <laughs> Mainly, it's just the controls that are messing me up. Because I can't tell uh, if I'm actually doing it correctly or not. You know. Oh, here we go. Hooray! Also, I don't know how many levels there are in this. Like, there's no counter. You, you can't even tell what level you're on. Because it doesn't say at any point. But, um... Yeah. Join me, Link, and I will make your face the greatest in Coral Dice. Or else you will become a die. I, I don't even know what I was trying to do there. But, uh, you know, close enough. See if this works. Eventually. Uh, no, I don't think it's lined up. Bugger. Aha! I did it. Uh, a 007 game? <laughs> Wait, what? You saw a 007 game, but it was Bad Boys 2. Okay, I don't think James Bond was in that film. I'm just saying. You know, Martin... <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like Will Smith got cancelled. Let's just digitally replace him with, uh, with Pierce Brosnan. See, my, my favourite Will Smith uh, contribution to society was his uh, credits rap for Get Out. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about, but, you know. Bad Boys 2. So, was it... Is it Bad Boys 2 the movie? Or, like... Because I know the... Oh, wait, what's going on here? Uh, does that kill me? I want to know. Okay, apparently it does. So, that kills you, but it just... It's just drawn wrong. <laughs> Great. 
Uh, also, it spawned me in a different location. Here we go. Yeah, so it's just the same thing over and over again, except they just add more stuff in the way. Aha! Also, Quantum of Solace. Was there a Quantum of Solace game? I don't think anyone cared enough about Quantum of Solace to make a game based on it. Like, I, I'm not going to lie, I've seen Quantum of Solace, like, once or twice, and I barely remember anything that happens in it. Like, there's... What was it? They go to South America and that giant house like gets burnt down. <laughs> yeah, like what what is going on with the graphics here? Like, even with a game this simple, they manage to <laughs> they manage to slip up in just a couple of key areas. Like I don't get it. It's like surely a game like this would be a slam dunk, but apparently not. Also, yeah, can't really tell how I'm supposed to line this up. Just praying. Oh, no, is this it? Aha. Okay. Wait, Quantum of Solace was an adaptation of Casino Royale. I thought the the Casino Royale was. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, Casino Royale was like the film that came before Quantum of Solace, so I don't understand how that works. And Casino Royale was just a better film anyway, to be honest. Also, I'm pretty sure I beat this game, because it just seems to be looping, like, the first levels again. Yeah, so this is it. This is <laughs> this is the entire game. I, I, I just beat it. Yeah, I, that that's it. Okay, I, I think... I think that is it for DICE. But there are other versions of this game. <laughs> so let's take a look at those. Uh, I'm going to put my earphones on. I don't need them for the original. But um, yes, I've mastered the power of die. I mean, it should be called die. There's only one die in the game. You don't, you don't play as multiple dice. <laughs> but maybe they were like, well, if we call it die, it might take on a, the wrong connotation. But an appropriate one. Because we're playing nice code games. So here's the alternate version of DICE, which is the exact same game but with shitty music, so we're not going to bother with that. But there is also DICE A Legend. I could have sworn this version had music, but apparently it doesn't. Also, so I get, okay, apparently there are only nine levels. Okay, this one they at least fix the graphics, and that's it. So I'm assuming I beat this level and it just goes to level 1. Let's see. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> like Gank. <laughs> yeah, it's just level 1 again. Okay. Then we've also got... Snaffle. <laughs> See, now they're just like making up their own words. Yeah, so this is the one credited to BBG. I, I don't know what's going on there. It's like, they, like, there are several games that I've got in the set where they're credited to multiple companies. Because BBG is not nice code. They are a different company. So I don't know what's going on there. Is that Snaffle? I was thinking, is that like where you blow your nose into a handkerchief? But that, that's something else. Then we've also got a... We've also got Play Dice. Which is the same game again. Except this one has that song from Magic Jewelry in it. Which kind of makes me wish I was just playing that instead. Yeah, and that's it. And we do have one more version, uh, which is actually VTO free, so let's play that. Ooh. Okay, I like this tune. I don't know what this tune is, but I'm going for this. Yeah, <laughs> same game again. I'm assuming these all only have nine levels. I mean, this one has more detailed graphics than the other versions, but yeah, I'm pretty sure other than that, it's the exact same game. Unless maybe one of these versions has more levels, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> not really a whole lot to say there. I mean, it's playable, I guess, but there's also, there's not much of a game. I mean, considering that it just resets after you beat nine levels of it, 
and you ha you also have like infinite lives. So it's like there's there isn't even any challenge to the game at all, you know. And again, like the the graphical style just makes me wish I was playing Devil Dice instead. Um, oh yeah, also I'm <laughs> while I stream this, I'm also uploading the first part of the stream to YouTube because I thought that it would have finished uploading by the time I started the stream. Turns out not really, but um, I'm like okay, I'm uploading that. Hopefully, I can do the stream at the same time and have it work. Um, I mean, is it better than Hungry Birds? <laughs> I mean, Hungry Birds had more levels. But the gameplay was worse. Because it was just random chance whether you beat the level or not. <laughs> the one with the magic jewelry tune. <laughs> yeah, it's the best one. It is the best one. Um, yeah, I'm going to say this is a little bit better than that. I'm going to say, like... Well, N. Cruz plays better. Yeah, it's better. Actually, no, I'm saying it's better than Aim Cruise because then my ears want to die. But there we go. Dice. Dice! Anyway. And to that I say, what's the difference? This is the difference. Oh, actually, I, I might have missed that intro. Yeah. You have to see that. that. That is an integral part of the game. Shows that they put more effort into it than most of the other games. <laughs> Maybe. So, yeah. So, this is literally just one of those spot the difference games that you find in pubs. Uh, this is it. Also note that the, <laughs> the hitbox... Even in a game like this, the hitboxes are bad. But uh, I'm guessing I'm supposed to look by where the cursor is on the right. But, um, yeah, I think what really makes or breaks a game like this is how the graphics are rendered. So, I can't... I literally cannot tell. Okay, apparently that's not different. Yeah, don't know what's going on with this one. Oh, uh, also, Cool Bubble Bubble 2 font. They really like using that for some reason. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Also, you mess up once, and that's it. See, I like a good Spot the Difference game, and this is not a good one. Because, really, a good Spot the Difference game would have, like, um, you know, digitized photos of some sort. Um, I don't know. I mean, th there's a reason why the NES didn't really have games like this. Not to say this is necessarily a terrible game. More... Oh. Okay, apparently that was different. I couldn't tell how. But, um... Yeah, again, like... There's a real lack of detail to the images here. It's, it's like geometric shapes for much of it. You know, it's like hug the pixel. I mean, the only NES game I think that was even remotely like this would have been... What? Where's Wally? <laughs> Which is not a good game. Oh, here we go. Uh, okay, I got a spot. Ah, here we go. This is the one. There we go. Yeah, it's like the thing is, because where's Wally? I mean, could have been decent. The problem is that the graphics were just absolute garbage here. Like literally, possibly the worst graphics out of any game on the NES, and that's saying something. Because there are some truly awful looking ones on there. Um, yeah, this definitely looks better than that. Which. You know, it's an achievement, I guess. Okay, I'm trying to tell the difference. And I don't know. <laughs> so if I press the B button, it just... Also, yeah, like, they, they couldn't even sync the music. Like, yeah, good job there, lads. So, yeah, I'm trying to fix the image on the left. But again, like, there's so little uh, detail in these images. Like, I've seen... I don't know. Games like this for more powerful systems. In fact, I used to have a game on... I can't remember what it was called. It, it was... I had, like, a PC, uh, like, collection of games. It was, like, Galaxy of Games Compendium or something. Okay. So I'm going to run out of hints, I think. Not that it matters. I mean, it, I'm pretty certain this game doesn't actually end. 
as far as I know. I think it just goes on forever. Um, okay, I, I swear I got that. And the game said didn't. I was selecting the right thing, game. <laughs> there is no Waldo. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I've seen that. That one's amazing. It just makes the game impossible. I mean, there was also the Great Waldo search on the NES, which was basically the same game, except that one, um, the graphics didn't look like puke. Still wasn't a good game. Um, I mean, they made a, what was it, a 16-bit version. And, uh, I mean, like, that one's playable enough, but it's also like, yeah, you wouldn't really want to play it. Anyway, let's let's just uh, deliberately lose. So, yeah, <laughs> I think we've seen all there is to see for this one. And that's it. But hey, I got the high score. <laughs> yeah, there's Wally. Uh, what else have we got? We've also got different picture, because that's totally different. <laughs> Oh yeah, the the Joel stream. Also, yeah. Uh, welcome to the exact same game. Like they didn't even change the pictures or anything. So, a whole lot to say there. But there is a VTO free version, and I want to see if this one is any better than the other ones. Hopefully, they got like digitized images or something. But well, the title screen looks similar. That's a good sign. Well, they improved the music at least. Oh, well, there are more colors. But yeah, it's still got that kind of same, yeah, like the clearly just like tile-based graphics where I wouldn't say it's necessarily ideal for a game of this type. I don't know if they've gone back and changed the images. I mean, this could have been in the other version for all I know. But I'll just go to level two. What is the difference picture? It's a great title, though. Difference picture. Oh, okay, apparently that was just one. Yeah, spot one. Yeah, I, I, I don't see where the last one is. Oh, oh, hold on. There we go. Anyway, yeah, that is difference, or distinction, or whatever you want to call it. Um... Yeah, not a whole lot to say about that one. I mean, again, it's playable. I mean, it's probably better than the last game, to be honest, because there's just more to do in it. But, again, it's it's like the type of game that you would find in a pub, but just worse. Because, again, those would have, like, you know, photos and whatever with um, just, like, little Photoshop edits. And you have to, like... I don't know. I feel like the graphics are kind of important in a game like that. And, yeah, the NES just was not designed to play a game like that. Um, I mean, it's better than boxes. <laughs> but is it better than Assault? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say yeah, it goes like right above Backgammon. I'm pretty sure there's, there's no ending to that game. Um, okay, next up. No, that's not it. Uh, ah, it's this one. Welcome to... The game settings. Okay. Let's um yeah, let's go home. Yeah, I guess I can't go home. Unfortunately I'm already at home, so I can't really do that. Okay, so player versus calm. Yes, it is dominoes. You know, the game where you have to match the dominoes, I guess. I don't know. Do you get another board game? Well, is dominoes technically a board game? I mean there's no board as such. You just Place them on the table. Oh, uh, okay, apparently I have to go first. I don't know what... Oh. Okay, I guess if I pick the double six, I can do that. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, this game is fine, I think. Um, there's not much to really say about it. It's like... This is a game that exists.
Yeah, that's it. Also, I, I don't understand how the scoring system in Dominoes works. Like, I, I, I don't know. It's not a game I've ever really paid much attention to. Like, I've played it on, like, one of those Hoyle Games compilations. Um, but yeah. Also, there, there does seem to be a real lack of settings in this. I mean, normally, you know, you'd be able to... I mean, all you can change is, um, like, the maximum score. And then that's it. But yeah, you, you really don't have many pieces. Which is kind of a problem. Okay, I'm trying to pick the... Oh, fine, I'll just... Okay, for some reason I thought there was a two. Yeah. So apparently the AI just like... Just like cheats their way to victory every time. I don't know. I mean, I'm just picking random pieces and just hoping for the best. Am I just allowed to pass on every turn? No, it's like, literally, if you can play, you must play, which I'm pretty sure is not actually how Domino's works. I mean, granted, there's not really much reason to pass, but... I don't know, just taking functionality away just seems a bit weird to me. Also, yeah, they're just reusing the same sound effects. Okay, I'll play one more game, I guess. But yeah, I mean, like I say, this one works okay. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, you do have to play against the computer. And this is Domino's one of those games where you can play four players or not. I can't remember. I don't know. It, it, I mean, the game seems okay, but it also seems to be lacking in terms of options um, compared to other versions of, um, yeah, like Domino's games I've seen. I've played worse. Uh, but yeah, it's also that kind of... Hmm. Yeah, and that's it. Well, I play one more round to have this with the tiebreaker. Because I, I don't care about the score system in this game. Especially given how you have so few dominoes that you don't even take the whole set. Wouldn't it make more sense to have like half of these dominoes as opposed to, you know, a fifth of them? Yeah, here we go. Okay, I was going to blank out the AI. Yeah, this is it. It's basically just random chance. You know. It's, what, it's another one of those games where, you know... You really wouldn't want to play it in this form. It's playable, but you wouldn't want to play it. If that makes sense. But, uh... What if you wanted to play it... With really shitty music! And without the option to change the score limit. So it's literally just the exact same game, but worse. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing that one. <laughs> well, we will do this one. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's a VT... <laughs> There's a VTO free version of this game as well. Also, note the fact that they they spelled the name wrong in the background. <laughs> Dominoes. It's like a domino, but in the shape of a nose. I, I, I don't know. But yeah, it's just the same game again, really. Dominoes. <laughs> That'd be a great pun if it wasn't such a shitty bootleg. Yeah. I mean, what is it to say? It's the same game. I don't know. Um, I mean, again, it's functional. It's not as good as boxes, though. It's also not as good as dice. I'd rather play dice. It's more to do in dice. And it's also not as good as Defire, you know. But it is better than climbing, climbing, climbing. <laughs> oh. The weak ones just used to keel over and die. Kaboom! And then it's like, they fall over like dominoes.
the weak one just used to keel over and die. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather play Aquarium, to be honest. But yeah, Dominoes. It's like, whatever. Actually, you know what? No. We need to fix that. There we go. Much better. Um, but you know what? I've got to be honest. These games, they've, they've been too ordinary. You know, we need something a bit more high concept. Or something a bit more ambitious. Something that's got a bit more in the way of content than the previous games. And what better way to deliver extra content? I don't think I could say this with a straight face, but uh, what if I told you that Nice Code made a Legend of Zelda bootleg? It exists! This is not a drill. And, well, you can already tell what we're in for. Considering the fact that Link firstly appears to be wearing rags, and also has dark hair. So, uh... I don't even know what to say with this one. So this is called Dongfang Chuan Shuo. That's the um, name that I've got here, at least. And, supposedly, this is based on Link's Awakening. A game that I have not played that much. But I've played it enough, um, I think, to be able to say whether this is remotely good as a version of it. So this is another one of those games that they made for Nanjing. Um, yeah. And, yeah, it's like most Nanjing games were turn-based RPGs. I seem to recall this one is not. I think this is closer to being like an actual Zelda game. Gameplay-wise, at least. It has no... <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's a, a sign. Okay, so the house is laid out differently. Of course, the game is also in Chinese, but, you know, I mean, what, what do you expect? And I guess they tried to, like, make the graphics more detailed than the original. I do like that they actually try to recreate the Zelda theme, though. I do give them some credit. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's trendy in Taiwan, but this is, like, mainland China, so it doesn't really make sense. So, did this say a badge? It's like a joke in a... What was it? Jojo, I think. The character looks like a badge. I think. Also, I have no idea what this says. I'm assuming... So, because like I say, I've heard that this is based on Link's Awakening, so I'm assuming that this is just the intro to that game. Let's see. Uh, can I? No. I was thinking maybe I could, like, check the background objects or something. Okay. What do the options do? Okay, so none of the buttons do anything. I don't even have a shield, which I'm pretty sure normally I would have at this point. Okay, and I guess that just says I'm in the town. So. Uh, wait, what? Hold on, what's going on? Oh, I see. <laughs> he couldn't actually scroll to the next screen because a bush was in the way. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just punching this dude. Okay, so I can pull the shield out, but I can't move while I have the shield out. I can only stand in place. Also, I can't talk to this dude, even though normally you would be able to. Oh god, the, <laughs> the soundtrack, no. Wait, I have the sword at this point, too. Uh... Also, yeah, so... Okay, if I press select... Okay, now it brings up this menu. Uh, sort of map. Okay, so I can't select this option at all. Uh, this, I'm assuming, is a save feature, maybe? And then the fourth one... Oh, that just goes back into the game. Um... Yeah, it's like... Okay, so I can't... Yeah, I, I, I cannot talk to this man. The game will not let me. Yeah, like I'm pressing all the buttons. It's not working. So I'm assuming I, it, they just never programmed in the ability to talk to NPCs. Maybe ones that are critical to the plot and nothing else. That's my guess. Yeah, see, I could talk to this dude. Uh, of course, because it's all in Chinese, I, I don't know what he's saying. But, yeah. Let's see what we've got. I don't know if this actually does anything, but... 
But it's kind of funny that they now have houses that you can't even talk to people in or do anything in. Okay, there we go. And again, why does Link have dark hair? Now, I, I should point out, by the way, because I was messing about with Link's Awakening on the um, Switch Online service. Turns out that actually kind of comes in handy uh, when researching these old games that people actually do like. And quest for Camelot for some reason. I don't, don't know why that's on there. Is this meant to be Minish Cap? Because it did show him getting, like, washed up on an island at the beginning. So I'm assuming this is meant to be Link's Awakening. But, I don't know. Maybe Minish Cap also has that as a plot line. But I, I never played that one, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> I mean, I love this. The fact that if there's a bush in the way when you're trying to move to the next screen, it just won't do it. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. I don't know. It if anyone's played Minish Cap, can you tell me if this is remotely like that game? Because I don't know. Um, I mean, if this is Link's Awakening, the town layout is completely different. But I don't know. That's also one of those games where... I don't know. Like, I, I've tried getting into it, and I just I just get stuck early on, and then just move on to something else. In fact, I actually do own a copy on Game Boy, but it's the Japanese version. Which means I can't actually... Like, read the text. So, I don't know where I'm supposed to go at this point. Because it seems like everywhere is blocked. So, if I go up here... Yeah, it's just all fenced off. Pretty sure I can't walk through the fences. Also, it's just me or is the, like... Percussion track desyncing again. That just, that just seems to be a common problem with these games. Even this game, where they seem to put a little bit more effort into the game. Okay, I literally have no idea where I'm supposed to go at this point. Because I can't walk past this thing. It's like, uh, it's just, it, just like, walls everywhere. Um, and again, there doesn't seem to be a map. Uh, if there is a map, I can't access it. Yeah, because, I mean, you got this item system. Also, hello, Alex, how are you doing? Um... Yeah, like, this second option, I can't select it. I don't know what it does. You know, I've got this item menu that doesn't do anything. So I'm assuming there's, like, something in particular I have to do, but I don't know what it is. Which is kind of a problem. And, uh, like, some of these houses I can't go into. So unless there's something in particular that I'm supposed to interact with, that the game just doesn't make it obvious, um... Yeah, this is nice code. You can you can tell from the god awful sound, to be honest. That's usually the um, giveaway, I think. Yes, uh, this is literally a Zelda bootleg. Um, that's what it's trying to be, anyway. Like I say, nominally, I, as as far as I know, this is meant to be Link's Awakening. Uh, like I say, I am no expert on Zelda, so for all I know, I could be wrong. Um, I mean, this could be Minish Cap or something else. But, uh, let's see what we've got. So, uh, amazing colour scheme, by the way. <laughs> um, I don't think that would quite fit with this game, to be honest. Oh, wait! Okay, I have to go this way? Oh, yeah, thanks, game. Oh, wait. No, I, I don't think I can go this way at all. It's like, nope! <laughs> Thought you could go this way, turns out, oops. I want to see if we can at least, like, find somewhere to actually go to. Like, is there, like, a back door in one of these houses? Can I go to sleep and then wake up in a better game? It's a question at this point. Seriously, where am I supposed to go? Okay, I didn't get stuck this early on in Link's Awakening, I can tell you that. Uh, no, you cannot cut the bushes. I've tried doing that. I, I know normally you'd be able to do that. Oh. Actually, can I go up here? No. So what is this haircut? I would not want to have that, that haircut on, sorry. Ugh. Like, I don't know. At, at that point, you should just wear a hat. I mean, I'm wearing a hat and I've got full hair. Uh, well, a full head of hair. Okay, I, I genuinely have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Um, I mean, you think it'd be obvious, but it is not. 
It's especially bad when even the screen scrolling just doesn't work. Yeah, there's like a monk cut now that you mention it. Yeah, like, look at this. Okay, so I'll try to cut this bush. Except no, I'll just walk through it. And even if I wanted to cut it, it won't let me. Also, why is the grass yellow? It just doesn't look good. Yeah, but um, as you see, it just won't let me in the house for some reason. And pressing the start button does nothing. Um, the shield, I'm pretty sure, doesn't do anything here. Like, maybe I can talk to this dude? No, he just tries to stab the dude instead. So, I don't know what's going on there. And again, uh, for some reason there are just some houses it just will not let me go into. So, maybe I'm supposed to go back to the starting house and talk to the character again? Maybe there's something I missed. No. <laughs> I think just saying, go on your quest already and figure out where to go. Yeah, I would if there weren't like invisible walls everywhere. So I can't go through the shrubs. Can't go through this thing. Um, I can't cut it down or anything. It's Zelda CDI bootlegs. I mean, there is someone who's making like a, a tribute game to the Zelda CDI games. Like something in that style. I'm sorry, if I can't figure out how to get past this opening area, then that's a really bad sign. I mean, I, oh. Okay, apparently that's where I have to go. Wonderful. Again, the graphics really mask where it is you're supposed to go. No, it's it's not the time for F-bombs yet, I don't think. Uh, okay, this part's pointless. I think it's really just like just badly drawn graphics. I mean, even um, on the monochrome Game Boy version, I didn't have this much trouble navigating it. Oh, wait, what's going on? Okay, I guess I ended up in the forest. <laughs> okay, I just got knocked back into the starting area. And I can't even go into that house. Like, why even draw that there if you can't walk into it? Oh. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this. And they couldn't program in like another song into the game? <laughs> like what is this like chromatic nonsense? I mean you might as well just left it on the Zelda theme the whole time. I was like, why are the wizards this early? Like normally you'd just be fighting like Octorox or whatever. Oh, what's up? Wait, what's, what's going on the edge of the screen? Okay, that's just weird. Because like, I'm already trying to fight like the wizard from the Terra Draga or whatever. Okay, also, uh, great controls too. Uh, firstly, you cannot move diagonally, which... Yes, you couldn't move diagonally in the first Zelda game, but they'd fix that by the time they got to Link's Awakening. Um, but I don't know, again, maybe this is Minish Cap. But I'm pretty certain that game allowed you to move diagonally as well. But um, also, yeah, RZ. See, I'm kind of curious about that one. Do you think that's going to be their Switch version? <laughs> it's the closest one we're going to get to the Faces of Evil re-release. But, um... I don't know what to say this. Oh, no. Oh, no, what is this? Yeah, okay, so, like I said, not only can you not move diagonally... Oh, what's going on? Nope, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's a nice code game just from that. Uh, what's going on? Okay, if I pick this menu option. I mean, should I really try to play this again? No, I'll, I'll, I'll try one more time, because I'm not entirely sure what to rank this yet. Yeah, maybe if this game had a decent soundtrack, I'd be more willing to play it. But like, I mean, seriously, even just ignoring the soundtrack. Okay, firstly, it doesn't let me into the hole. So I'm guessing it's like, you have to talk to some random NPC that the game doesn't bother to tell you about. And I was like, any game that does that can pretty much go in the bin, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I don't even know what to say to that. I, w I was hoping for better, but I shouldn't be surprised it's that bad. But there we go. 
I don't know. It's a game that should be interesting, but it's like, I kind of want to see, like, look, look that up on YouTube just in case there is more to the game that I missed. But I don't want to play it again. So like, I'll just stick to, like, the actual Zelda games. Hold on, what was the game called? Dong Fang Chuan Chou? I'm not good with Chinese, I'm sorry. Yeah, here we go. Uh, okay, for some reason it just comes up with, like a TV show. So I'm guessing they just like named it after some TV show. Uh, but then they were like... Yeah. See, I can't actually find any gameplay videos of like anyone playing... Uh, it's not that my mouse is also a piece of garbage that belongs in the bin. And just registers clicks on its own while I'm trying to hold the thing down. Um, yeah, apparently no one has played this game for more than five minutes. <laughs> that, like, I can only find one gameplay video and it, it's like five minutes long. So apparently no one cared to play this. Um, hold on, maybe if I try Legend of Zelda Nice Code? Let's try that. Oh, wow, someone actually did beat this game. Yeah, here we go. Is there more than two songs in the game? Okay, so there are dungeons. But, uh, yeah, it mostly just seems to be wandering around forests. Um, and just try not to die. So, it just seems to be Legend of Zelda, but really bad. Pretty much all there is to say about that. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I want to rank it higher because at least there's something to it. But it's also a game that I would never actually want to play. Um, it's a better game than Blocks World. <laughs> there's more. There's more going on than Blocks World. I mean, Blocks World is uh, well. Actually, no, it's it's worse than Blocks World, but it's better than Bugs War. Yeah, I think that's. How you spell that. <laughs> okay, well, it's time to go back to the garbage tier, you know, average plug and play shite with Dragon Den. Do we get to shoot for your fetus in this? <laughs> no, we get to shoot some dragon heads. Oh, and okay, so first observation okay, so I'm playing as uh, the character from. Was that a uh, YY World? Which I don't think I've ever actually played those. I seem to recall hearing the first game wasn't very good, but the second one was good. Something like that. I don't know. I, I never played it. Um, also, yeah, that music. I'm sure we, we've come across this song on at least one of the other games I've played. Also, yeah. Uh, this is the game. Also, there's a slight delay to the controls. I pressed the jump button there. Which, firstly, the jump button is the B button. So, good job there, lads. You couldn't even get that right. You know, you've only had, like, what, 20 years to to learn the fact that the B button is to shoot and the A button is jump. Okay, so it just seems to be exactly the same every time, except uh, the dragon heads have more health. And... They, they, they add, like, droplets of ooze. And that's it. That's all they do. You know, honestly, this is a better game than the last one. Also, though, it does look like... I feel like I should have got hit there. Because it, it looked like I got hit, but this game said I didn't. So that's just kind of weird. Rickle? Okay, I... I'm not going to lie. I've never played Wild World War 2. I just know it has, like, a bunch of Konami IPs in it. I have no idea who Rickle is. I'm guessing that's just, like, the character they invented for the game. You know, it's, it's like, um, you know, it's, it's like Master Hand from Smash Brothers. It's like, technically a crossover series, but yeah, they kind of just made up Master Hand. Also, I don't know how many levels there are. Also, it really looks like I'm just shooting, like, plungers at the dragon heads. So I don't know what's going on there. It's like Mario Brothers is invented in someone's nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if the dragon graphics were ripped off from something. 
So it usually is. Well, like I said, I mean, the main character graphics ripped off, so... Oh, come on! Okay, so this has the same problem as that... What was it? The, the Farmer game or whatever it was called? I can't remember the name of it, but... Where it's like... Even after, like, a dangerous thing has left the screen, the hitbox is still there for, like, another second after it disappears. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me get that. Oh, great. No... Great, no, uh, Windows Explorer has decided to fall apart. Sometimes it just refuses to let me even access the, um, sound options. I need to do that to turn the sound off, basically. Hopefully they didn't break anything, having to reset that. I do like the fact that if you pause the game, it just does this. <laughs> yeah, cool sound effects. Yeah, this is probably about the same programmer that made The Farmer as well. <laughs> I think it was called The Farmer. Okay, now I have to wait half an hour for Windows to, like, fix itself. And now it's still not letting me click on the thing. Because it sucks. Yeah, Windows, you suck. Hold on, if I click on... If, if I, like, type in volume control, will it work? Or volume... Whatever the program's called, I don't know. No, that, that loads up an entirely different program. Because Windows needs, like, four different programs to adjust the volume. Because that's how, that's how broken it is. It, it's actually amazing. Right now, Windows is genuinely functioning worse than this game is. And that's quite shocking. Okay, now it decides to work. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's just, sometimes, like, Explorer just breaks for no reason. I don't know. Okay, here we go. And that's it. Also, yeah, again, I don't know if this game has infinite stages or not. If it does, I, I don't... Like, or if it has a finite number of stages, I don't know how many. But it wouldn't surprise me if this just goes on forever. Also, look how, like, huge the health bar is. I wouldn't mind, except the fact that, like, to take off one bar of health, you, you literally have to do, like, four or five shots. It's, it's stupid. Also, get a load of the uh, shooting animation, too. Oh, okay, I wasn't actually paying attention to the screen that time, so, uh, turn the sound down a bit. Oh, come on, I didn't even touch anything that time. Yeah, it doesn't help that the game's hit detection is garbage. Whoever programmed the games with this song, yeah, probably got sacked. That's how incompetent they were. Like, you know what? Th th you know, this was, like... The programmer that they just like, you know what, we're, we're gonna pay you like, with like a curly whirly and just call it a day, because that's all you deserve. Like that, like I literally touched nothing and died. So, yeah, this is going in like the same tier as that other game. Um, just, just entirely just for being broken. If the hit detection worked, it might be passable, but because the hit detection is broken, it can pretty much go straight in the bin. <laughs> yeah, just, turns out there was like a, a hole in the ground. Like an invisible hole. Um, the worst part is there are other versions of this game too. Such as the Archer. Which is the exact same game, except they changed the graphics. So we're not doing that. But then we've also got... Oh. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. We've also got... Happy Adventure. What is that face? It's like an arrow with a face on it. Or like a wedge of cheese. The future is now, old man. Okay, what is this? Am I shooting at a clock? Like a broken clock. It doesn't even have a, like a... You know. Like they say a broken clock is right twice a day. Uh, these clocks are never right because they don't actually have the... Um, 
hands to tell you if the time is right. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> you know what we need? We need the classic game. Yeah. Dragon Den again. No, we can't do it. And there's also Phantom Archer. Do all of these have the exact same song? Okay, I like this title screen. <laughs> it's one th this is the most amount of effort they ever put into this game. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that song again. Go in the bin. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Dragon Den, again, could have been passable. Um, but the hit detection, yeah, pretty much sends it into like the hell tier. We haven't had like, a single like passable game today. Other than maybe like dominoes. So, I mean it's worse than dominoes. It's worse than the calculator. I'd rather play a calculator over that game. Um, was it Arena? Was the other one? I mean it is better than that. I was able to get further into it. But, yeah. I mean I'd probably put it like... No, actually I'd, I'd probably put it here. <laughs> but yeah. Um, what, what was the game called? Dragon Den? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Honestly, I would rather listen to that over Samari. I will give it that much. It, uh, that's the nicest thing I can say about the same track. But you know what's better? It's your boy, Dringle. <laughs> I love the disconnect between the title and this image. It's amazing. Okay, so just like Dice, so this... Um, has like different versions credited to different companies, which is weird. Um, how many stages are there to this? Let's see. Because that's going to be a, an important determining factor. Uh, yeah, an actual nice code credit. Okay, there are 20 levels, I see. Okay, let's just do stage one. Okay, here we go. Also, this actually sounds more like a song than most Nice Code songs. So I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, so if you don't know, this is actually a clone of a game called Shikinjo. Um, even the graphics are very similar. Now, Shikinjo on the Famicom is, I think, somewhat notorious for being literally impossible. Because there's a level near the end of the game um, that's broken. Like, there's no solution to it. So yeah, I think I did it the wrong way. Oops. Fine. I will do it the other way. It's one of those trial and error things. Yeah, it does sound like a multi-cart song. <laughs> Sounds better than the other songs. I'll give it that. But uh, yeah. See, I mean, Shikinjo I think is alright as a game. Um, again, the Famicom version has one level that you literally have to use a password to... Wait, what happened there? Okay, I, I swear. I, I All I did was go to the exit... And the game just, like, reset for no reason. I... Um, yeah, so the real Famicom version of this is called uh, Shikinjo. So, she kin -jo. Yeah, it's like a Famicom exclusive. But there was also a Mega Drive version. Um, maybe that one's better. I don't know. Um, it was actually by Toei Animation, which I think makes it their best game by default, to be honest. Uh... Hold on, what is this? <laughs> plug and pray. <laughs> I say Windows 95 is plug and pray. If it's as far as you want, you gotta go the Mac way. <laughs> God, now, see, now I'm just thinking of that song. I'm the computer man. I'm the Macintosh man with a virus scan. <laughs> uh, boxing wrestle? <laughs> oh, yeah, I see what he's talking about. Yeah, the the dice game. Okay, let's do stage 20 of this. Let's see what this has to offer. So I think Shikinjo has 150 levels. So it's just like a cut down version of that. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Okay, I, I don't know how you move any of these pieces to the pile on the right. Like... Oh, hold on. I think I've I think I figured it out. 
Uh, oh, one of the drinker rums glitchy. Maybe it is this one. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I don't know how you solved this level. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm I'm too rubbish at a dringle to be able to solve this puzzle. But I can just like make the screen refresh and restart the level. <laughs> it's like, oh. Okay, so I guess if we press a certain combination of buttons, it like resets. See, I press like down into the left, and it reset. But it only seems to happen every now and then, so I, I have no idea what's going on there. Maybe. But maybe the Weishing version works better. It's just the same game with different music. And that's it. Does this one have. Okay, let's see if this one has 20 levels as well. Yeah, this looks to be exactly the same. Maybe, oh, <laughs> maybe this one doesn't break. So I get the feeling this song might be ripped off from something, but I don't know what. Does anyone know what the song is? Because I could not tell you, unfortunately. Oh, hold on, I got an idea. What's this? Yeah! See my skills, my my superior dringle skills <laughs> will come in handy for this level. Yeah, see, I'm kind of enjoying this one a little bit. As long as it works. Yeah, the Weishin Gems. See, Weishin had an actual composer for their games, unlike Nice Code seemed to. So, you know, they get the credit. While Nice Code gets the, the debit. I, I, I don't know. Don't you think maybe we could put it on credit? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure out the solution. What's the answer? What's the conclusion? Okay, I don't think I actually need this or anything, so solve that. <laughs> Cash on delivery. Yeah, more like coupons in their case. <laughs> It's like, yeah, here's a coupon to buy turkey with, like they did to Rob Fuller. If everyone knows what I'm talking about there. Okay, let's see if I can actually solve this level, because I want to know. I want to know if there's, like, any kind of ending. I don't think there is, but... Yeah, I'm like, I, I can skip straight to level 20, because I'm... cool like that. You're full with it, and I'm cool with it. Oh, hold on. Do I have the solution here? Actually, yeah, I might. I might have messed this up, but I don't know how. So I'm not sure how I'm going to move the blocks to the end. Yeah, it is kind of like Sokoban, um, except instead of having to push the boxes in certain places, it's just about getting to the exit. And that's it. It's the whole game. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Was, that, was this four block down here to start with, or not? Yeah. I, or, no. Hold on. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, because I don't really have anything to match these up to. Because there is this one block over here, but I can't actually get to it. Because these blocks will turn the other blocks into those, and 
then they just get stuck. Which is not good, really. Does not help in my quest to finish this level. best part of the game. Anyway, yeah. Actually, no. Before I move on, there is another version of this game. Here we go. Let's see. Welcome to Carrier. It's a great title. Wasn't there, like, a Dreamcast survival horror game called Carrier? I think we'll call that being a thing. Okay, so now we've got, like, what is this? It's like it's like a boot like Kirby with like oversized limbs. And walking like a like a Chinese zombie. What's going on? <laughs> also, aren't those the clouds from Super Mario Brothers? But just like colored yellow for some reason. Yeah, carrier. <laughs> I wish this was the uh, Dreamcast game. Yeah, it, it's just the Mario clouds, except they just recolored them. You're not fooling me, Weising. Okay, let's see if this breaks the game this time. By going to the exit. No, it actually worked that time. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so you got these blocks that you can't move. That that's basically how um Yeah, so if you don't know that basically is how carrier works. Oh, yeah, where it's it's got weird rules, like you, you move blocks in certain places and turns them into other blocks that you can't move. I dunno. Coffee. <laughs> I love the fact that you press the A button and just makes the screen go black and resets it. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Reset me in an unwinnable state. Wonderful. Anyway, yeah. I mean, honestly, I mean, the game seems okay enough. The lack of levels is kind of a problem, though. <laughs> but I would say it's better than Five Card Draw. But not much better. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'd probably put it, like, yeah. It's not as good as Buzz Bombers, but it's better than, than Depth Bomb. <clears throat> also, I think I might need to get something for my, for my throat. So, I will be back in a couple of minutes while I get myself a drink. In the meantime, please amuse yourself with this music and don't go away. It won't be nice code music, I promise.
and we're back with Echo Chamber. Yes, we finally made it to the letter E. And there aren't actually that many games that begin with E, so we'll probably be going on to F as well today. But uh, yeah, so there are a few of these games that, as far as I can tell, were made more recently. I don't know when this was made, but this might have been made around the same time as like Angry Birds and whatever. Or Hungry Birds, as it were. But yeah, Echo Chamber, let's see what we've got with this one. I think they might have ripped this music off as well. I'm not sure. I think this was like when they stopped even trying to make music and they just decided to rip it off from other games. But here we go. Yeah. So this is just Simon. That That's literally all it is. Well, I think I know how to play Simon. <laughs> yeah, Echo Chamber. I'm trying to figure out what Echo Chamber even is. Yeah, see, I'm an expert on this. I remember on the um, Atari 50 version of this, because they got a remake of, um, like, a version of Simon or some similar that Atari made. And, um, and I think I got kind of a lucky pattern that was a bit easier to memorize, and I got a score of, like, 17 or something like that. <laughs> so a pattern like this, basically, where it just keeps switching between two of them. Yeah. Funnily enough, I'd say this is actually better than Echo on Action 52. Because, um, basically, if you go to, like, the later levels of that game, it gets so stupidly fast that you have no chance of actually, like, reading the pattern and being able to memorize it. <coughs> okay. And, okay, I guess I beat the level. <laughs> That's interesting. Is this just not going to give me a green arrow at all? Let's see. Yeah, just keep giving me the yellow one. <laughs> I could probably beat the game doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah. How do you beat this game? Uh, well, if the game just keeps giving me the yellow arrow and nothing else, then. There we go. I also don't know how many lives you get in this. You know, this is better music than nice codes of games. Yeah, I think it is ripped off. Maybe. Or maybe it's just using... Um, I don't know. I mean, it could just be using a sound driver from another game. But maybe they just sequence that themselves. Couldn't tell you. But uh, yeah, I'm always down for a bit of Simon. Let's see? Ooh. Pattern's getting longer, though. Yeah, thankfully it's gonna be a really easy pattern at least. There we go. I'm sure this track is taken from another game, but I don't know. Can't prove it. Okay, let's see what we get. I'm gonna keep going until I mess up. Because I do kind of like Simon, in all honesty. It's one of those games that is actually more fun than it probably should be. At least when it gets, um, yeah, when you start getting to, like, you know, like, patterns of, like, 12. Granted, it's going to be hard for me to play it like this while I'm trying to commentate, but, you know. Maybe this is where they got the ideas for the uh, tunes for the other games. I mean, this probably came after the other games, but still. Like I say, this might have been, like, 2010s. So I don't think this is by the same people that made the other games. Okay, I'll do that then. <laughs> yes, they actually made a game and didn't mess it up. Again, this is actually better than the Action 52 version because it isn't so stupidly fast that it becomes impossible. But maybe it eventually gets to that point. I don't know. There we go. 
probably starting to become more challenging earlier on, though. I think they're just kind of extending the game by just resetting the pattern every now and then. I assume this also goes on forever, because, I mean, I know the level count, well, it's got two digits, and there's no way that it's ending at just ten, I guarantee it. Actually, like, you know what? Let's see what happens if I get it wrong. I'm kind of curious about that. Okay, so if you get it wrong... Oh, <laughs> okay, so if you get it wrong once, you just get instant game over. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's just kind of the same thing over and over. Um, it's alright, honestly. Again, this is probably one of the best games I've played so far, but that's also... I mean, it's certainly the best game I've played today, at least. I can give it that. You know? I mean, hey, it's a, it's a game you can actually have a little bit of fun with. See? Congratulations, Echo Chamber. You're, you're officially marginally better than Curly Monkey 2. And that's a high praise indeed. But, uh, yes. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, here we go. This is an interesting one. I just love this one for the title. Watch this. So, this appears to be from the same batch of games. Eek a mouse. <laughs> yeah, see, Curly Monkey 2 has potential. But it only has two levels, you know. Whereas Echo Chamber has, like, infinite levels, I think. Welcome to Eek a mouse. <laughs> I just love that title, I'm sorry. So, yeah, this is just Whack-A-Mole. In case you couldn't tell. This is it. So this is like Simon, except it, it doesn't really matter what order you press the directions in the D-pad in. Just, just like, whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not sure where you're getting that implication from. I mean, I, I'm not sure what flag is, like, red, green, blue, and yellow. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, Rural Goblin 2, the not painful version this time. Okay, I'm assuming you're supposed to hit all of them. Yeah, there you go. So this music does sound like it was ripped off in something, but maybe they did hire someone to do the music for this. Don't know. Again, this does not sound original to me. Especially when you consider what the other games sound like today. I mean, you compare it to that Legend of Zelda bootleg. Though I do notice there's like a line that appears when the mice get hit. It, it appears for like a frame. Yes, it's literally just whack-a-mole. But like an easier version of it. You, it's, you don't even use like the A and B buttons or anything. And I have seen games like this that do use those in addition to um, D-pad. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, the colors on the total screen. Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> You've gained all your classical tunes in today. But Rossini is proud. Yeah, hit mouse, and this time they're actually mice. They had to go back and fix that mistake in the other game. Which we haven't actually got to yet, but we will. But you know, the, the presence of the William Toe Overture does make this a far superior version of the game. I will say that. Mind you, it's funny actually, this looks very similar to uh, like a Homer Team game. Because they also made a, a Whack-A-Mole game that has basically the same layout. Except the graphics on that version is just like whacked out. I don't know what they were... <laughs> I don't know what they were going for with the art style in that game. But yeah, it's just... Oh, here we go. Yeah, take this mice... That's what you get for drilling giant holes into my kitchen. I'm sorry, if if your kitchen has holes this big, then clearly you have problems that go just beyond the mice. God, it's like, like potholes so big. 
It's like that bit of, um, was it The Simpsons? Where the uh, popcorn truck drives into, like, just a giant hole. And they just makes a lot of popcorn. Is the tablecloth? No, I'm, I'm pretty certain this is the floor. Because you look behind it and that, you know, um, oh, that's clearly just a kitchen worktop. Also, there doesn't seem to be any kind of score system. Like, it's literally just, you go into the next level or you don't. And it doesn't, well, it doesn't tell you what the quota is to beat the level. So I don't know what's going on there. How many songs are there in this game? More than I was expecting. Yeah, somehow the Whack-A-Mole game has like 10 different songs in it. And yet the Zelda game only has two. Let's see if I can get all of them on this level. All my concentration off of this one. Yeah, it's like they, they just drill giant holes into the floor. Or maybe I did this because I've got an axe to grind with these mice, or I suppose a hammer to hit in this case, more accurately. Like, I'm wondering, like, is Eka Mouse like the name of. A mobile phone game or something. Maybe that's where they got the name from. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, <laughs> Great, I missed the last one. But hey. I got a nice count. Yeah, but this is it. It's the whole game. Anyway, there's not really uh, much more to say with that one. I mean, it's playable, but... See, like, Echo Chamber has, like, an actual challenge to it, whereas this game kind of doesn't. But I do like the title. The title puts it above Carve Card Draw, and the soundtrack's pretty good. So, yeah, it's better than that. Oh, no, here we go. There we go, that's that's the, uh, that's how you write that title. Because <laughs> there's no space there. <laughs> yeah, Makes most of which sense as the Dr. Phil house. Oh no. <laughs> Didn't want to play this, but let's do it. Yeah. Welcome to a uh, mouse chasing an egg for some reason. An egg bouncing in a very strange fashion. Okay, what's going on here? Doesn't even have an outline on the chicken. Okay, here we go. Egg contest. Great. Okay, now, for the record, I, I'm pretty certain this game has infinite levels. I think. Um, so I think once you get past a certain point in this game, uh, it just... Um, what is it? It just repeats the same level design over and over. And I think th this might be one of those games that crashes after a certain point. I don't know. Also, wait, I, I just remembered, yeah, this song is also a really bad cover of, uh, what, what, what's it called? I'm trying to remember the name. It's, um, it's the intro theme to Crystallis. Yeah, that was it. It's just a really bad rendition of that. That's all it is. So I don't understand, like, the counter on the top left. So, 6 out of 23, like, so the number on the left occasionally goes up, and the number on the right occasionally goes down. I know that when I collect the orange eggs, that causes the number on the left to increase. What makes the number on the right decrease, I have no idea. It just seems to do it at random. Also, I'm pretty sure I can just ignore the, the white eggs. Here we go. Yeah, it's just every brown egg I've ca caught. So, are all the ones just going off the side that I cannot possibly get? Also, what, what's with the health system? Like, because it's not like I'm losing health for dropping the eggs. 
Maybe that comes into play later. I can't remember. Yeah. See, I, I love music that makes me feel like I'm getting stabbed in the ear holes. Oh, okay, I guess I beat the level. Oh, was the, okay, it tells you how many eggs you need at the start of the level. Okay, I get it. Oh, great. Oh, no, if you drop it, a yellow egg, it drops the alpha chicken. Okay, this game goes straight in the bin. Any game that acknowledges alpha chicken's existence is automatically the worst game I've ever played. Because alpha chicken is the worst game mascot. I'm, I'm, I will say that for the record, and I will die on that hill. Unless someone can come up with a worse mascot. I, I don't think Purgatory would have this music. I, I don't think they would take it. It's not even a timer though, is it? <laughs> is it just a really badly rendered timer? <laughs> well, Bubsy... You know, Bub Bubsy had better music. Oh, okay. How am I supposed to get to that? Well, this would make some of these eggs impossible to even get to. You know what? Okay, I, I think I figured out the strategy is just don't even bother with the white eggs. Because all they do is give you points. So therefore, it's even worth bothering with them. <laughs> Oscar? Yeah, I never played Oscar. I can't really say much about it. I, I know the Amiga one is supposed to be better. And the SNES... I know the SNES one's meant to be really bad. See, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I, I actually kind of just want to turn the game off right now. <laughs> like, it wouldn't be so bad, but it takes ages for these eggs to even appear in the first place. And when catching the white eggs is pointless, and does nothing but, um... Yeah, like, like all it does is just give you points, which doesn't do anything in this game, so it's like, why even include those? And the, the the orange eggs or what, whatever color they're supposed to be. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, relieve leave my ears of the pain. Here we go. Yeah, much better. So how are you meant to get to that in time? Okay, let's have this massive conveyor belt that just breaks the game. Okay, you know, I figured out the strategy, which is ignore the white eggs and just, yeah, just don't bother with them. <laughs> Game show is not a film genre. I mean, what about The Running Man? I mean, that's kind of a game show. I, I, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure The Running Man would be a more, I'm pretty sure being subjected to that game show would be a better form of torture than this. Like, like that egg is literally impossible to get to. See, I, I wish this game had a punch button. So I could just keep punching Alfred Chicken in the back. But Oscar was on the DSi shop? I didn't realise Oscar had ports. I mean, it is possible to wrap around the screen, but it... You also move really slow, which doesn't help. So I think... Because here's the thing. I have to make sure that the eggs don't go off screen. Because, like... Because the game is so poorly designed. So there are conveyor belts that take the eggs off screen and just, like, delete them from existence. And I can't even do that properly on this level because... Either way, there's a conveyor belt that's going to take the eggs off the screen. Yes, there was a PS1 Alpha Chicken game. Actually, I seem to recall that one wasn't too bad, so you know what? That that, that redeems Alpha Chicken slightly. Uh, okay, now there's a, a snake, which I'm pretty certain is taken from another game, but I can't remember which. 
I want to say it's DuckTales, but I, I'm, I might be wrong. I've definitely seen it somewhere else. See, like, like that egg just got despawned because it went off the screen. Like, the, um, it looks like the conveyor belts might wrap around, but they don't. So if, a, if an egg lands on that conveyor belt, you just bug it. So, yeah. Congratulations, whoever programmed this game. I mean, I think it's fair to say that nice code games are not created equal. Some are more incompetent than others. And I think this is one of the more incompetent games, just on a design level. Actually, it's less incompetent and more just... Just, like, incredibly, like, crushingly tedious. Because, again, the game is way too slow and you have too little control over being able to speed the game up. Because you're at the whim of that chicken on top of the screen. And is it just me or does the chicken, like, not have any feathers? It's like someone plucked all the feathers off it. Maybe that's why it's angry. I don't know. Yeah, I'm uh, still waiting for the gameplay to start. It's alright, we'll uh, done with this level in a bit. So I think it's either this level or the next level where... Um, from a certain point, they just run out of level designs and it just repeats the same one over and over. And I, I want to say that when you get to a certain point in the game, it crashes. I might be wrong on that, but I think there's this definitely a game that crashes after a certain point. But hey, at least... Okay, so this... They're, they're at least smart enough to not have... <laughs> they're at least smart enough not to have eggs. Or conveyor belts that takes the eggs off the screen. Yeah, this is like... It's like something that you code in basic, just as proof of concept. There's maybe the base work for a game that might be passable, but... So I don't get what's going on here. It's like, okay, now the egg's just like... The egg. The chicken's just like, you know what? I've had I've had enough of your egg-collecting ways. So, why is there a snake here anyway? I don't get that. Again, I know that sprite is ripped off from another game. Actually, I wonder if I can walk without actually triggering the walk animation. Wait, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, so now I'm just stuck in place. <laughs> Great, so I, apparently I died, even though I wasn't anywhere near anything that could possibly kill me. So, uh, yeah. Cool programming. Yeah, it's like, sometimes you get stuck and die for no reason, because the game is so... Because that's how bad the game is. Like, they literally couldn't even program it. Oh, and it resets your progress when you die. So, you know what? Uh, yeah, this, can go, this game can go into the fuck-off pile. No. Yeah. No, that's going, like, right near the bottom. That's just... That's just awful. <laughs> even by nice code standards, that is, like... It's like, 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 how do you make a game that bad? Unless you're intentionally trying to make it that bad. Yeah, so like, you know, I think I'd rather play like the the penalty kick game. And that wasn't even a game. That was just like you press a button and it's just random chance whether you win. Like that like that is actually one of the worst. In fact, you know I'm putting that right here. <laughs> yeah, fuck you egg contest. And I'm pretty again, I'm pretty sure the game doesn't end. So actually I just remember there is another version of this. Featuring bootleg Winnie the Pooh. And it's the exact same game except it features a coked out bear with green eyes. I don't know what's going on there. I don't think I want to know. Um, and there's like some dude on the top. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess Winnie the Pooh's public domain now so they couldn't get sued for that. But still. You know what's better though? Yeah. Welcome to the best game ever made. Yeah. 
See, fuck out for chicken. I want to catch an egg with an elephant in it. Or a snail. Yeah. Oh, yes. Also, yeah. Th this is another one of those games where the hitbox, like, for your, your hand or whatever it is, is, uh, like, one pixel. And if it doesn't touch that pixel, it doesn't count. Also, note the, um, like, Chip and Dale music in the background as well. So they thought I wouldn't notice, but I did. <laughs> also, yeah, a goldfish that's clearly a whale. Good job there. Yeah, camel the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to catch an egg with a camera in it. Or uh, maybe an apple. Because everyone knows that apples grow in... Birds? I, I, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Th this kind of fits into that same category as like Antiquarium as like a shitpost masquerading as a game. <clears throat> yeah. If you ever want to catch an egg with a bleb in it? Or candy? I mean, I'd like an egg with some candy in it. Or a panda. There you go. So I think after a certain point, it starts looping. It's like an excuse and just use the graphics in their other games. Yeah, I'm, you know, I want an egg with a house in it. That way, I don't have to pay any. Uh, I don't have to pay any tax when I buy it or acquire it. And that's it. Also, yeah, lantern. I'm pretty sure that's a pumpkin, but okay. I mean, I guess Jacko lantern. Yeah, this is this is eggs. The, the classic game, Eggs. Uh, or a, a pentagon. <laughs> Which isn't even a pentagon. It has more than five sides. I don't know. This side is not an octagon. Oh, man. Uh, also, the Earth. Which I'm, I'm pretty sure doesn't have a ring around it. The moon. <laughs> Beautiful. The sun. Even more beautiful. Okay, so eventually it just loops. So you'll notice it's just going for the same ones again. So they kind of ran out of space in the ROM, I think. To have more things to catch. Yeah, they, they could have made it not look like a pumpkin, but they did. Anyway. There is another version, which is the same game except the robot has been redrawn to, to look kind of like a robotic xenomorph, and there's a bit more color, and that's it. It's the exact same um, things you catch in as well, so that's all there is to that one. But hey, it's better than Egg Contest. It is better than Egg Contest. I'd, I'd rather play it over that. I think I'd, I'd probably put it here. <laughs> above Curly Monkey. I mean, you can't really beat the game, but I'll just say I did anyway. <clears throat> <Ooh. clears> throat> also, my throat's going weird. I don't like that. Oh, it's actually processing the video. Hold on. Uh, oh, great. I get to play another one of these games. Ugh, no, why must I play Nature Clan Escape Way? Um, oh, apologies for the Streamlabs thing. I'll, I'll... Yeah, Streamlabs uh, got devoured by the Nature Clan, unfortunately. But hey, my video was uploaded, so I will... So, what is this game? Like, like I don't understand the concept here. Okay, I haven't actually started playing yet. Let's do it now. Also, thank you for the subscription, Charlie. I really appreciate it. Okay. What am I trying to do? I, I, I don't understand this game. See, so the idea is that you've got, like, a, a magic <laughs> switching pair of, like, goggles. Also, the controls are kind of delayed, which makes it really difficult. 
Also, yeah, apparently made by Joni. It's a name we're going to become familiar with later. So I think the trick is to just go super fast. The problem is there's also a delay to the jump in. So you can't really react in time. So good luck doing that. Like that. Like, also it like switched. Like, look, like, sometimes it like just switches on its own. Or, no, it doesn't switch on its own, but it switches like two at a time sometimes. It's good luck doing that. Yeah, it's like a really bad version of that level of Circus Charlie. It's like they just took that and just made it impossible. With just um, bad controls, basically. So, yeah, the, what was it, the Circus Charlie level, where you're on the horse, you can try not to crash into things. It's just, it, it's basically just an unplayable version of that. Like that, like, I, okay, I pressed up once. And it registered it twice. Because the controls are just garbage. Oh god. It is the can't wait to become a king. Like I say, I think they were trying to rip off Circus Charlie and failed. Yeah. See, I'm not even particularly a fan of Circus Charlie, but it's better than this. At least there I can actually get somewhere in it. Like, maybe if the controls responded instantly and weren't broken, this might be playable. Yeah. I can't even get past this first area. Okay, I'll do this one more time. If I can't do it this time, then you can go straight in the bin. So I don't know if it's the same pattern every time. I think it might be. See, like that, again, it switched twice when I pressed it once. So, yeah, I think that's the biggest problem with this game. The controls just don't work. Sometimes it will, like, switch the goggles twice when you don't want it to. So, it's like... I mean, it's hard enough doing it anyway. So, having it, like, make it ten times harder by not having the controls work is just ludicrous. Also, yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. I, I clearly dodged that, but the game said I didn't. Also, there's like a timer as well. So, oh yeah, because I'm running out of timer for a game this hard. It's like, oh yeah, I also have to go like super fast the whole time. Yeah, just... No, I, I, I have to turn that off. <laughs> I cannot deal with that song any longer. Apologies for not having the Streamlabs set up, but, you know, I've got bigger problems right now, such as Rushing Brothers. Let's see if this version is any more playable. Well, it's only uglier, that's for, that's for certain. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go, like, super fast and see how far I get. There you go. Rushing Brothers. I, I don't like these faces. I'm sorry. I, I just I'm, I'm like I don't I don't want faces that look like this in my games. Also, the background is kind of busy as well. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Again, different graphics, but it's still pretty much unplayable. Yeah. I mean, I mean, again, we're going down to like garbage tier. Like, ec like actually, this isn't even garbage tier. This is like extra garbage tier. It's less boring than Egg Contest, but it's also pretty much unplayable, so. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably put it, like, like here. Because the game is just way too hard for its own good. There we go. Escape way. <laughs> Potato faces. <laughs> Ugh. You know what's better than Escape way? Extreme Rally with a... Cod, they definitely ripped off from some other game. Let's see what this is. I haven't actually played this one, I don't think, so I don't know. It's one that you don't actually tend to see on uh oh, but hold on, what's going on here? Ugh. Okay, these controls are way too twitchy. <laughs> I do like that it says you are hero in the background though. I get I'll give me some credit for that. God. Again, the the controls in this are just kind of garbage, because like you see how like super twitchy they are? 
like like you tap like left or right on the D-pad and you just instantly go and like slam into a wall. So like trying to play V Rally, like the first one. And for the record, the original V Rally was terrible. The sequels were pretty good, but yeah, you you, you don't want to play the first one. But hey, at least they tried with the music on this one. It it, it has like a discernible tune. I don't know. Is this trying to be Dragster? I mean, it's not, it's not quite Dragster. There's a little bit too much going on to be that, but... Maybe that's what this is trying to be. I don't know. Yeah, this is just really bad Excite Bike. What is this thing this comes towards, I think? I don't know. I mean, if maybe if this had better controls, this might be a decent two-player game, but... Yeah, it's a single player game, this doesn't really work. Ugh. <laughs> Risk it. Yeah, so I just keep slamming into the walls and just losing all my speed. Again, uh, it is just like playing V Rally. Not in a good way. <laughs> Race America? Yeah, I mean, Race America is a good game, it's a good two play game at least. You know, after the last couple of games, I'll take this one. So I wouldn't choose it, though. Uh, but hey, we... I, I beat a level. Welcome to Section 3. Uh, welcome to Volcano Land. <laughs> so where is this? Oh, so I can actually go faster than the other car, which is interesting. Actually, I wonder if I can beat the level by just holding... The accelerate button and nothing else. Yeah. See, I haven't actually touched the D-pad yet. And the slowdown things only seem to be on the top half of the track. Like on the left lane. Oh. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I'm in this. Because the AI always drives into it anyway, so. Yeah, what is this location? I do not understand this. Okay, that time the thing moved on its own. I wasn't... I swear I did not touch the D-pad. So I don't know what's going on there. But it's not uh, its not underground. It's clearly above ground. Oh! Turns out that was the entire game. Three levels and that's it. But I guess I beat Extreme Rally. And that's it. It's the, it's the whole thing. Okay, what, what is this? Highway Rider. So I think this is the exact same game. Let's see. Yeah, so it's the same game, except now you've got... Actually, no, this might not be identical. Um, let's see. Oh, no. No, this is actually different. A little bit. Um, yeah, this is more like Road Fighter meets Excite Bike. Because notice that the other driver seems to be on a separate piece of track. And also note the fact that I don't slam into walls immediately. So yeah, I guess this is kind of substantially different to the other one. I'm not sure if this is better though. Yeah, cool music. Oh. Okay, hey, why is my acceleration so low? It takes like half an hour just to accelerate in this. From 0 to 60 in about a bit of millennium. Yeah, you want to talk extreme? Well, this one doesn't actually have extreme in the total, so... Yeah, they're not actually wank in that case. So, what is this set in? It's like I'm driving in front of a checkerboard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you... Thank you for the redemption. Uh, let me get this set up. Okay, let's see what this is like. No, okay, apparently VLC player just died. There we go. I fixed it. Whoa, okay. So I think as long as I avoid the holes, I'm okay. 
I wonder if I could drive up that bit where... Yeah. Oh, no, there is an invisible wall there. I'm amazed they even coded that in, no nice code, but... We, we got it. I wonder if this does have more than three levels. Maybe it only has two. But yeah, this is literally just, like, Road Fighter turned on its side. And with a another driver to race against, and that's it. I mean, it's playable. I'll give it that much. In fact, yeah, this is probably better than the other one. So you know what? You know what nice code? You, you made a playable game. Yes, I play nice code games while music from not nice code games play in the background. Wait, when you go 50, it's the same as 192? What? Hold on, I need to notice that. Or uh, observe that myself. I also love the static fire in the background. That's amazing. Or maybe it's like a statue of fire. Maybe that's why it's static. Yeah, it, yeah, you just top out at 50. But the number just keeps going up. And I don't know why. Here we go. As long as I don't crash once, I should be able to win this. Well, it scratches that. Yeah, it turns out this is actually a uh, motorbike racing during the apocalypse. Maybe this is like Mad Max 4. Maddest Max. Because he's stuck in a nice code game. I mean, I'd be mad too if, if that was the case for me. <laughs> Cardboard cut out off fire. <laughs> Oh, we're actually going to finish at the same time there. Interesting. Nope, still only three levels. But uh, there you go. That's it. That is... That's the end of the game. That's the only other version we've got. I, I guess they are kind of different. So, um... Yeah. It's better than the last couple of games. Um, so what have we got here? I mean, you know what? It, it, it's not as good as Assault. Assault. Assault? I, how do you pronounce that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it here. So there's Extreme Rally. I mean, they're, they're kind of... I mean, yeah, so th this... I mean, the other one is a little bit better. Not that much better, but it is better. Yes, Assault. I mean, that, that is a good word to describe a lot of nice code games, to be fair. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, so, now we're, we've, we've made it to the letter F. So, we're finally making some progress. Only problem is... There seem to be quite a few games that begin with F. So, I don't think we're going to make it to G today. But what we will get to play... Is Fairy's Adventure. Or, no, sorry, Fairy's Treasure. I wasn't actually paying attention. Oh, okay, this is that game where you collect the stuff. So I guess you have to get a certain amount of points. See, this is just like a rip-off of that one mobile phone game. <laughs> yeah, F. The word I... <laughs> the word. The letter I would use to describe nice code games. Much of the time. So I've just got to get like the big gems, I'm guessing. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> they are the, the gems from Bejeweled. Cool. A big F. Unfortunately, unless you've got like an, an emote on Twitch that is the letter F. I don't know. But does it? But there's a tech toy game like this. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Let's see if I can get this gem. If the game will even give me enough time to do that. Unfortunately, this fairy also happens to be super slow. Okay, well, barely got it. Oh, I see. I have to get a certain amount of score to win. I see. And if I don't get that score, then I lose. Yeah, it is the crane game. Um, like I said, there's like smartphone versions of this. Also, I don't get the 
thing with a bomb? Do I just, like, die if that happens? Apparently not. This is it. Is it a Flash game? Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know the original version of this. Um, but like I said, I know it's ripped off. Yep, you got the rock. Can't stop the rock. Okay, well, I gotta... I gotta make a mad dash for the... Nope! Decided to pick up the rock because the fairy's an idiot. Yeah. I mean, they're basically... If you mess up, like, once, that's it. And you get, like, one life to do the entire thing. Oh, there's some credits in this. I want to know who I can blame for making this bad ripoff. No, I don't think they programmed credits into this one. Oh, no. No, they did. Yeah, thanks, Nut. You sound lived up to your name. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even want to bother trying that one again. I mean, it's better than some of the other ones, but... It's like... It's like, do you really want to play that? I mean, again, it's like you may as well just get a smartphone and just play it there. Or see if you can track down the Flash game. I mean, like, chip shot. I'd rather play the calculator. <laughs> I would rather play the calculator than, than Fairy's Treasure. So, yeah. I, th I think that is a is the best statement I can make as far as my opinion on that game goes. Yeah, I think F is the uh, the letter I used to scrub that. Uh, amazingly enough, there are no other versions of that game. But let's play uh, whatever this is. Yes. Fated Pirate. Yeah, once again, that font from Bubble Bobble 2 makes an appearance. Also, yeah, I don't remember how this game works. So it's like... Oh, I think... Yeah, okay, I, I don't remember the, the mechanics with this one. So, apparently I can't shoot. Oh no, I can't shoot to the side, I can only shoot up or down. So, I don't... I have no idea how to move. If I press the A button, it shoots. And if I press the B button, it also shoots. Like, apparently, moving... <laughs> there is no option to move in this game. Oh, okay, if I press the start button, it moves. Oh, yeah, because that's my instinct. Yeah, thanks for the uh, intuitive controls, nice code. I appreciate it. Okay, so I think I kind of get the basics on this. Like, they could have just made the A button move and the B button shoot. Um, I mean, I'm sure this is ripping off another game. I don't know what that game is, unfortunately. I could not tell you. Okay, so I think you have to do this in a certain order. Maybe. I mean, I guess it is a strategy game, which means I'm not going to be able to make any progress in it, because strategy, I, I just don't do it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one thing that I'm just incapable of. There's a reason you don't see me play, like, Fire Emblem or anything like that. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of strategy to this one, though. This is it. How many boats are there? They seem to keep spawning in. Yeah, here we go. This is it. Okay. We did it. Oh god, there's like a hundred levels? Okay, we're not doing a hundred. If this game wants me to do a hundred levels, it can sod off. But, but this is it. This is all you do. Yeah, sometimes you're just in unwinnable situations. I mean, I'm sure it's possible to avoid dying there. Like, again, strategy is just not my thing. But, um... Also, this is just like a really bad version of Edelweiss in the background as well. 
It's like, it's just a broken version of that. Also, I wonder if the boats, like, crash into the rock. Um, I mean, I can turn the audio off, and I'm probably going to be moving on in, like, a second anyway. I just want to see if the boats crash into the, into the rocks. And it wouldn't even let me see that, because it doesn't even show an animation of the boat crashing. Okay, you know what? If the next game is bad music, I'm just going to switch it off right away. Just to honor the requests. I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. Technically works, but... So, that's the thing about a lot of these games. They technically work. But I think I'd rather play Caribbean Poker. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, it probably goes around here somewhere. Making it the 50th best game I've played so far. Which, I don't even know what to say. Um, but yeah, Fated Pirate. <laughs> like, what, what kind of name even is that? You know what's better than Fated Pirate? Yeah, so this is the same game, by the way. Um, except they just changed the title screen. Yep, identical game. Oh, hold on. I think they actually... Did they fix the controls for this one? Yeah, okay, so... Now pressing the B button moves the ship instead of the start button. So, it's technically this is better, but still don't want to play it. Okay, let's see what Final Blood sounds like. Oh, hold on. So, this is the wrong version. This is it. Okay, you know what? Since people wanted me to turn the sound off earlier, let's, let's do it now. I seem to recall this game being really bad. Like, even ignoring the, the sound. There's not really much of a game here. So this is basically Battlezone, but like most of the gameplay taken out. Also, the A button doesn't use anything. Uh, what countries use F instead of C? Uh, I mean, the USA uses it. Uh, I don't know of any other countries that do. I think it is just the USA, as well as I know. Because I just use Celsius, or centigrade, or whatever the term is. But this is the entire game. Um, so, just a few things to point out. Firstly, avoiding getting shot is impossible. Because I believe the tanks can shoot you while, you, while they're off screen. Like, you notice I lost health there. Even though there was nothing on screen that was shooting at me. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of the level we're dealing with. Um, secondly, you might notice the timer doesn't make any sense. Like, it says 2.5. So, I think what that actually means is... So, the 2 is the amount of minutes. And 4, or 3, as it is now. That means that it's, like, somewhere between 30 and 39 seconds. So, you know the display bug in Hoshio Mirohito... Where it doesn't display the last digit of the health. This has the exact same problem for the timer. And when you're reminding me of Hoshio Murahito, you fucked up. Yeah, it's just Beachhead, but terrible. But it's also Battle Zone, but terrible. Because again, Battle Zone, you can actually move out of the way of the shots. You can't even do that here. I mean, this is it. This is the game. I don't even know what to start. It's, um... Like I say, it, it, it is just ripping off a game from 1980 and doing it badly. It's kind of a shame, because again, Battlezone is a great game. Unless Nice Code is involved, in which case it's ruined beyond recognition. So uh, we get to survive for another minute or so. See, I'm trying to play these games for at least some amount of time until I decide no. But I feel like I'm going to have less patience for these as they as they go uh, go along. Yeah. See, this is why Battlezone isn't on Atari 50. It's because Atari. <laughs> it's because Nice Code ruined it for everyone else. Oh, uh, speaking of Shikinjo, by the way, this song is taken from that game. Probably the best thing about the game, actually, the soundtrack. Also, I, I, I don't think there's any reason to shoot at the, uh, the trucks. 
I don't know, they're, they're kind of just there to get in the way. So I think as long as you focus on shooting down the tanks, maybe you have a better chance of survival. So again, I'm pretty sure the the trucks don't actually do anything. But yeah. So, I mean, he, so this is a game made by someone who couldn't even program a timer. Like, that, that's level that rat at this point. Uh, the soundtrack from Rock Awards. I'm pretty sure I do, but I, I'm just out and letting the soundtrack play at random. Oh, actually, you know, I just realized what this game is. This is Iraq War 2003 on the Mega Drive. Which, if you don't know, was just a really bad bootleg game on the Mega Drive. Uh, where you just sit in one spot and just shoot a bunch of soldiers. And that's the whole game. Entire game. Nothing more to it. Shanghai 2. Maybe. Can't remember if I put any Shanghai 2 soundtracks in there. I mean, I deliberately avoided putting in certain games that I think would get content ID'd. So there's no Mega Man in there, because I know that gets content ID'd. But, um, yeah. So, I think literally all that changes between levels in this is the background. And the fact that the levels have a longer time limit. That's it. So, this level, I think you have to survive for, like, five minutes. And the previous level was, like, three or four minutes. Oh, also, yeah. Let's, uh, just also commit war crimes in this game by just shooting down ambulances or, um, you know, first aid trucks or whatever they are. Like, Nice Code really had a thing for war crimes. I don't even know what to tell you. Let me say what you want about Call of Duty. At least Call of Duty could actually be a fun game to play. <laughs> this is the game that teaches you that war has never been fun. Like, Cannon Fodder teaches you that war has never been so much fun. This game teaches you, no, it's never been fun. And this is it. Move to the left in a circle. And then just press the B button occasionally. Yeah, see that, like, this is... This goes to that same category as, like, burbles. Like, I don't even know if there's much more to say about this one. I don't know how many levels there are. I'm pretty sure it's too many. Oh, here we go. Song that actually kind of fits the game. Because, uh, yeah. Platoon. I mean, that's a game where war crimes... Or, a game. That's also a, a film where war crimes happen as well. Yeah, Burbles is more playable. Like, there was more to do in Burbles. It, it kind of went by at a faster pace. I mean, at least there was something. Also, Burbles had the most amazing theme song in game history, so... This doesn't even have that. And again, like, the HP thing... I basically have no control as to how much the HP goes down. Yeah, the Platoon game at least had a good soundtrack, if nothing else. It's not a good game, but... Again, it's a better game than this. At least, there's more going on. I mean, my biggest complaint with that game was the lack of any kind of continues. And the fact that it was an ocean game, because ocean games are just bad by default. <laughs> Unless they're based on someone else's game. Also, sometimes I press the button and it doesn't respond. Like, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It just happens at random. Like that. I had to press it twice to get it to do anything. Oh, okay. Apparently pressing the button, the A button does work. But again, it, it only works randomly. Here we go. Just, like, mash A and B. Also, the buttons do the exact same thing. It's not like one shoots out of one cannon and one shoots out of the other. And even if it did, there's no reason to pick one over the other anyway. It's not like Missile Command. Yep, and that's it. Uh, I think I survived. Yeah, that's it. It's just shoot vehicles until the timer runs out. So, now I have to survive for six minutes... And everything's just gone, like, blue. Maybe it's a representation of how you would feel. Maybe this is, like, the dream sequence. 
where you go psycho. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I think... Actually, I'll, I'll show you what happens if you die. I'll, I'll speed through this. Yeah. So you see how slowly the time goes down. Like, even when I'm speeding this up, it just takes ages. But yeah, so if you die, that's it. <laughs> you get one life to beat the entire game. So if you get down to, to like the last 10 seconds and then you get hit one too many times, well, sucks to be you, you're playing the entire game all over again. And there are other versions of this, like Final Fighter, which is the same game, uh, except they just like changed the graphics slightly and then called it a day. Uh, there's also... Like, VTO free versions of this? Uh, what have we got here? Also, yeah, The Ooze. Yeah, actually, The Ooze is a better game. I, I would rather play The Ooze than most of the games I've played today. So then you've also got an, a, an alternate version of Final Fighter, which is the exact same game with more colors. And then Frontal Fire, which is the exact same game again, except they changed the graphics. Goodbye. Yeah, I can sign that one straight to the bin. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's going, like, right near the bottom. Because it is, again, it, it's just like Egg Contest. It, it's so stupidly slow that it ends up just being, like, the most boring game you can imagine. In fact, yeah, I'm putting, it like, like, one spot above Egg Contest. Because at least it doesn't have Alpha Chicken in it. There we go. Final blood. Final bin. Into the bin you go. Where you belong. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to take a, a break for a couple minutes because I need to... I need to rest my brain after the last game. But I will be back in a few minutes. So, um... Don't go away when I get to play all of your favourite games that happen to begin with the letter F. So uh, I'll see you then.
Yeah? Yes, we're back. Ready to play the greatest get. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot to switch the um, the volume off. Sorry. You, you, you must hear the amazing Fish Story theme song. You did not need to hear this. Oh, yes. Welcome to the fish block. Because, uh, for some reason, nice code really seems to like fish. I don't know. They're, they're like the Mr. Scruff of shitty video games. Best description I can think, anyway. Also, yeah, you might notice I've got the, uh... I've got the cooling pad on. Because these games are, are so bad that they're giving me a headache. That, that's kind of where we're at right now. So, yeah, this is just a rip-off of Shark Shark. That's it. That That's all this is. It's just Shark Shark, but worse. Well, Feed and Frenzy itself, I'm pretty sure, was just Shark Shark, wasn't it? Uh, okay, so I guess I'll turn green. Yeah, I, I don't know. What's, what's the difference between Feeding Frenzy and Shark Shark anyway? Other than the fact that one's on Intellivision and the other one's more recent, I guess. Also, yeah, I don't really get the goal. I mean, I'm assuming it's just eat fish until you eat enough of them. <laughs> the masochist version. Yeah, sounds about right. But, uh, yeah. Just move around the screen and eat stuff. Just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everything is fish. Oh, oh no, they've added jellyfish to the game now. Yeah, they threw a curveball. Maybe. Okay, I, I don't get... What? Okay, so apparently I get power up for eating three of the green fish. Except I have no idea what it does. Is it, like, is it invincibility? So I'm assuming touching the... Oh, touching the big fish is instant death. No matter what I do. Oh. oh. Okay, so I get stunned by the jellyfish. Great. But I do notice that the jellyfish are suspiciously not pink. That's a different species, anyway. To fish my story. Imagine waking up on the front page news. It felt like a blood rage doos. Oh, pop cap. See, I I've played some pop cap games. I don't remember them doing Freedom Frenzy, though. I'm trying to think of what games I played from them. Okay, so. Yeah. So, I, I have no idea what the turning green thing does. It doesn't. So, I don't think it makes you invincible, because I assume if that were the case. I could touch the jellyfish and then not get stunned. Or stung, whatever. Yeah. So, like, there. Because apparently I was invincible, or powered up, or whatever it is. I don't know. And it didn't help me at all. So, <laughs> what the point of that is... I don't know if maybe it's meant to be a feature that just never got implemented properly. Maybe it is meant to be invincibility. Also, what is with the, the UI... It's like, like, who designed this UI? Why is it a fish's skeleton? Oh, and now bubbles kill me. Great. Maybe it's burbles. The burbling of the sea. Uh, okay, I'm guessing touching the eels kills you as well. Also, yeah, that, that sound effect when you die. Um, I think that's... No, that, that's the same sound as in their... What was it? At the Olympic Games. We will get to those eventually. You will see those. Look forward to that one. <laughs> Great, because I'm supposed to be able to dodge that. And that's that's the game. Well. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's supposed to be the Game Over song for Biker Olympic, but it's just a terrible version of it. But you know what? We haven't had enough A for games. You know, your nice code just decided, you know, we've only got 15 A for games, we need a 16th. So, welcome to, you know, welcome to Shark Shark in space. With a space helicopter. 
I don't even know what they were going for with this one. But yeah, it's just the same game. Okay, so, like, yeah, I don't even get this one. Return of Aether. Wait, how is this called Captain Sakura? I, I don't, okay, I, I don't see the resemblance, I've got to be honest. Like, is there an episode where it goes into space? In, in a helicopter? I, I don't know. But yeah, like, see, so it looks like you're invincible, but you're not. So I don't, I don't get that. I suppose the graphics are slightly better in that one, but, uh... Eating! So this, I guess, is like the Weishing version. And now I'm playing as... Whatever this is. I, I, don't, I don't even know. Is that the same death sound? Yes. Okay. Well, that's all there is to say about this. It's, uh... Yep, fish story, which is just Shark Shark, but worse. We will get to Shark Shark. We haven't quite made it there yet. But, uh... I mean, I would play it over the calculator, but not by much. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right above the calculator, I think. <laughs> Congratulations to this story. You're barely better than a broken calculator program. Yeah, it's just fantasy zone, but, like, really bad. Uh, okay, I lost my mouse for a second. There we go. Yeah, we've got more fish games. Um, okay, this next one I might not... I think there's one of these I might not be able to do. I don't think it's this, though. What is this? Oh, this music. Listen to this. Actually, you know, I don't know if this is a nice code game or not. Because nice code games don't tend to have music that sounds like this. This might actually be an inventor game. I don't know. Because this sounds like an inventor game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost a song. You know what this is? This is freeform jazz as a chip tune. Okay, if this isn't nice code, I'm, I'm just going to skip it, to be honest. Yeah, this does not look like... Well, no, it, actually, it might be. Maybe maybe Inventor just did the sound. Uh, can it handle 60 FPS? I mean, it should be able to. I mean, I could do those um, HD streams. Also, Locust Menu? What's I have no idea if that's a word or not. Let's go to the pond. Oh, fish that makes sense, or lure that makes sense. I swear there's a Homer Team game that looks very similar to this. I don't know if this is based on that. I don't think it is. Hold on, I, I know the song. I think. I think I'm gonna have heard this somewhere. Yo, this is the best song we've had in a while. Yeah, the Homer Team one is the better game. <laughs> Hold on, no, I I, I know the song. I know where the song is. Uh, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> this is a song that only I would recognise, but that's why I'm going to play it for you right now. Because I, I know it from like like an old shareware game that I played as a kid. If I can find it. Here we go. Yeah, listen to this. Also, I think this media is a bit broken, but it, it will do. It will do. If Windows Media Player wants to start... Because the problem with uh, midis is they, they don't work on... Um, VLC. I love that bass line. Oh, actually, wasn't this on the um, Nintendo 64... Like, test tracks? Uh, there might be a better version on that. So, the song is called Freaker. I think. Yeah, hold on. No, I, f I found it right here. I actually made a, a playlist for um, the Nintendo 64 SDK songs. This is one of them. 
I'll uh, I'll post a link in chat. Yeah, I swear this is this song. Well, you listen to it in the game in a bit. And then you listen to that in this game, like you listen to this. It's like a weird messed up version of it. How does the worm just like fall down anyway? I don't, I don't quite get how that works. Yeah. Okay, here's the question. Does anyone know if this is like an inventor game? That's just been wrongly credited? Oh, here we go. Because Noise Code did seem to make a lot of fishing games. There we go. 4,000 grams. Or 4 kilograms. You know, let's, let's try to fish towards the, uh, the house. Yeah. See, the problem is, I don't think there's any definitive proof as to who actually made this one. Like I said, the music sounds like Inventor, but the game does kind of feel like a Noise Code game. In terms of how it plays. I I'm not sure. Sega Marine Fishing. Maybe that's what this was trying to be. I think um, I think the Hummer Team game kind of took inspiration from that. Maybe. I can't remember for sure. <laughs> the Blue Marlin. Well, that was a NES game, wasn't it? I don't know if that one's good. Oh, wait, I can catch the Tortoise? I didn't realize that was even an option. Yeah, I mean, a Tortoise isn't really a fish, is it? See what happens if uh, it's too. Oh no. Yeah, I guess I caught a tortoise. Also, yeah, black bass. See, I'm, I'm not huge into fishing games, but I, I do have more of an appreciation for them now than I used to. Um, I think what actually kind of got me into them was the Sega bass fishing on the Wii of all games. I don't know. I, I never got into many Wii games. That was a game that I thought made good use of the. Um, Motion controls. But, um, yeah. Sega Marine Fishing, I think, was, like, one of the sequels to Sega Bass Fishing. And I think I do have a copy of Sega Bass Fishing on the Dreamcast. So, uh, maybe I'll play that on stream one day. Because I do plan on, um, covering my, you know, Dreamcast games I have. Yeah. So, I think I will put this on the list, but, um, I'll... I'll Put it with like an asterisk, because again, I, I don't know if this is an an invent uh, an inventor or nice code game really. But uh, it seems to have a surprising amount of detail for like a weird knockoff fishing game. I will say that. Like um, you know, it's got like the temperature, <laughs> and um, is it quite a bit of detail as well, and multiple music tracks. Which again, it's not something you usually get from nice code. So again, this may not be nice code, but certainly, I mean, you compare this to the last game, and it's way better than that. You know, I'm, I, see, I kind of have my doubts that this is from the same people who made uh, Antiquarium. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But yeah, like the screen transitions or whatever do make this think this is, is nice code. I don't know. Yeah, I do know that the Blue Marlin is a really good soundtrack. Beyond that, I, I don't know much about it. But, yeah. Um, this game honestly seems fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the only half-decent games I've played today. But, again, going to put an asterisk on this one. Because I don't know who made it. Um, no, take it a book. Yeah, probably, probably around here, maybe. Yeah, let's put it here. It's literally just called Fishing. So, there you go. Tom and Jerry, best of the best. Like, is in the soundtrack to the game? So I think I've got that on the playlist thing. But, um... Oh, God. I forgot just how many games begin with F. It's crazy. Like, I will not be able to go through all these games today. But what I will be able to play is, uh... Let's see. Oh, yes. Fish War. Yeah. 
funnily enough, while Nice Code did mostly work with like semi-original games programmed from scratch, they did make a few ROM hacks, and this is one of them. I've actually got this on a 151 cartridge, um, where they inexplicably include this game along a whole bunch of like actual NES games. Um, like it also has Orchard Cavas on it. This is obviously just a ROM hack of Balloon Fight, where you can't see where the platforms are, which is kind of a problem. Also, it doesn't really make any sense, because it's like the fish floating underwater. So, like, the rules of gravity shouldn't really apply in the same way that they do in Balloon Fight. I don't, I don't really understand that. It especially doesn't make sense on that 150 and 1, because I'm pretty certain Balloon Fight is on that cartridge as well, so... You basically got that game and, like, an inferior version of it. Uh, but yeah, I'm including this here because it does credit it to, you know, nature color games, so... I don't know. Maybe they're just taking the credit for someone else's ROM hack, but... As far as I'm aware, this is one that they did themselves. But yeah. Yeah, like, it's just Balloon Fight, but worse. Which makes it probably the best game I've played today. I mean, granted, there's really no reason to play it when you can just play Balloon Fight, but there you go. Kind of just how that is. Also, yeah, you has got these bonus levels where you just get RNG'd sometimes. Pretty much. It, it kind of feels like random chance where you can actually get perfect or not. If, they, if the fish spawn in a certain way, you probably wouldn't be able to do it. Unless your placement was kind of perfect. Also, yeah, like, this doesn't even have the Balloon Trip mode. I mean, there are multiple versions of this game. Maybe one of them does have that. But, uh, yeah, showing off my... My fish war skills. Like, why make this fish themed? Of all the things you could theme this around, why fish? They could have made... Like, they could have called this, like, A for war or something. And it probably would have made more sense. Oh, and the... Octopus in the background shoots lightning? I, I don't get that. But yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Balloon Fight is a classic. I mean, I guess... If you had this game and not Balloon Fight, you could probably go with it, but... I mean, hell, Balloon Fight is on, like, the Switch Online service thing nowadays. I don't know. But hey, at least the fish that comes up from the bottom and catches the, the other fish. At least that's still in the game. It's in the game. I mean, yeah. Compared to all the other games I've played today, yeah, this is... about as good as it gets, really. <laughs> because it is just someone else's game. Was there... Wasn't it Iwata's game, originally? Didn't he program this? Anyway, yeah. That's it. I want to see if the game glitches out at the end. Okay, so the music just stops. And that's it. <laughs> but there we go. Um, but we do have other versions of this. Oh, here we go. Yep, so here's the balloon trip mode. Also, there's different music for some reason. I don't get that. So yeah, I don't get why they have different versions of this game that are exactly the same game, but like sometimes take away features and just change the music and call it a day. I don't understand that, really. Does anyone remember uh, Tetris DS? Where it had a balloon trip mode? Or, not balloon trip mode, it had a, a mode that was clearly inspired by Balloon Fight, or um, themed around Balloon Fight, I should say. Four hundred and one real game. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't have that cartridge. I, I know what to tell you. Like I say, the hundred and fifty and one version that I've got, I think, was the version I just played, and not this one. So maybe they changed it for that one. I, I, I do not understand where they source these ROMs or why. I mean, like when they use, it's pointless though, because when they're using Balloon Fight anyway, like the original game. It's just like, why would you have multiple versions of the same game on it? I don't know. But there we go. And there's also the BBG version. 
which is exactly the same as the Nature Color game version. So, yeah, we're, we're moving on. But yeah, it's one of the better games because it is just a good game that they just ROM hacked. Probably put it right below the fishing game, actually. It's going right here. It's right now in the number 10 spot. But there we go. Fish War. There is no ending because it is just Balloon Fight. Um, oh, no. No, I don't want to play this. I'm just... I'm looking at the games I've got here. And, uh... Okay, I think I'll play at least a few more games. I do not want to play this. You will understand when I when I show you on screen. But we have to do it. Took her for a drink on Tuesday. We were making love by Wednesday. And on Thursday and Friday and Saturday we... Ran out of days on Sunday. So, wait, why are the soldiers appearing behind the foreground? Or behind the background, I should say. Doesn't even make sense graphically. Also, yeah, you'll love the amazing soundtrack. Well, at least... In this game, unlike Burbles, at least in this game, you're actually being attacked. And it's not just like people trying to run away from you. So at least here, you're not committing war crimes. You're just committing war. <laughs> yes, I've now experienced Balloon Trip. Only just now. Okay, so the blue soldiers are faster than the green ones, but then they turn into the green ones when you shoot them. Also, yeah. You gotta love the amazing soundtrack. Like, literally a five second loop. In fact, I think it might be less than five seconds. Let me count that. Yep, four, four second loop. Literally four seconds. That's all they could afford for a soundtrack on this. You made a game without war crimes. <laughs> it's an achievement for them, at least. And this is it. This is the entire game. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I don't think this game was even made in five days. I think it might have been made in, like, five minutes. If And that's being generous. Oh, actually, let me uh, turn that down. There we go. I want to make sure you can still hear what I have to say. Also, I love the perfectly round bushes, too. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Great. The game was too cheap to even have a death animation. The level of quality we're dealing with on this one. Also, what, what do you want to bet this is one of those games that resets the level when you die? Uh, this song that I'm, let's play right now is from Quarth. Which uh, actually happens to be one of my favourite games on the, uh, on the Famicom. Also, yeah, this level seems to be pretty much impossible, so... Yeah, I have no idea how you're supposed to beat this level, because, like, you can't shoot fast enough, and you can only fire one bullet on screen at a time. Yeah, like, I'm trying to fire more than one, and the game just isn't letting me, so. Good job there, nice code. Wait, I get health by shooting the health. It's a bit like, um, Scramble. What was it? In Nice Code? Uh, no, Nice Code. In a Scramble, you get fuel by shooting the fuel. No, Nice Code. Yeah, and that's it. That's that's the whole game. Um, actually, let me... Let me uh, get the sound back on. Because I want to know if there's any version of this game that has a different song in it. Um, so here's the thing. There are 11 versions of this game. <laughs> so there's the Weishing version. 
which is identical except they just changed the copyright. But there's also Final Man. And then there's uh, Final Man, the Weishing version, I think. And then there's uh, Pentabase. So what, what is Pentabase? Yeah. So you're, you're playing as a, a star? <laughs> I don't get that one. Okay, and this is just the same thing with worse graphics. And then you've also got Last Man Standing. <laughs> but then you've also got, uh, what is this? Yeah, you got that one. Oh, you got this one with a different song. I don't know what's going on there. Then you've also got, oh, okay, apparently there's two versions of this one, but they look to be the same. Anyway, that's uh, that's enough of that for one lifetime. So there we go. Five days. Well, that's... <laughs> I mean, that's going straight into the garbage bin. Like, down here. Because it's pretty much unplayable. So. I don't know. I mean, that's like... It's like abscondy level. In fact, no, I'd say it's worse than the Battlezone port. And that's saying something. Yeah, I'm putting it, like, right next to Balloon Shoot. And, you know, I probably would play Balloon Shoot over that, but, you know. I got to level 2, at least. I guess that's something. But, um, what else have we got? Oh, I clicked on the wrong button. Okay, what is this? Uh, oh, hold on. Fling Ball. Hold on. Let me, uh, get the controls down for this. Okay, well, apparently there's no credits in this one. That's what I was trying to do. So, this game, I, I don't understand this one. Yeah, so it's basically... You have to, like, pray that the ball randomly moves away from where the robot is. It, it's like... The, the weirdest sport you can find. I, I, I don't get it. I like the dance animation when you catch the ball, though. I mean, that's something. But, like, you'll notice that the um, arrow on the bottom doesn't even line up with where they're actually firing the ball. It's pretty much just random chance if you can catch it or not. Again, there's there's not really much of a game with this one. Oh, and apparently you can just miss entirely. It's, it's like they tried to do, like, a penalty shootout game. Similar to the other one that I played. Oh, and it also got to attack for like two seconds. There we go. Oh, I guess they just switch more regularly. <laughs> no, apparently that was the whole level. Okay, this game... I haven't figured out what the, what the purpose of this game is. It's like... It, it literally is like they... Like they tried to take a penalty shooter game and then reskin it into like... We're gonna make like some bizarre like game show that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> yes, Euro 2020. Also, yeah, the ball just seems to just go off in like a random direction too. Like there. <laughs> like it didn't even go anywhere near the thing. But I am crushing the computer in terms of points at least. Yeah, like that. So, I don't know if this game has an ending to it. If there is, I I've never seen it, I don't think. But this is, like, the whole game. There we go. I got the bomb! Also, I seem to lose points at one point. I, I don't know if the AI catching the ball causes me to lose points. So, like, there, I got the gun. It's got me like 300 points. I mean, it's, it's clearly like they're trying to give it the aesthetic of a game show. But a game show that doesn't make any sense. Is there an ending to this game? I want to know. Like 
ты. Wait, what happened there? <laughs> Wait, did the computer lose points? Heavy Barrel. Ooh. See, Heavy Barrel has a really good soundtrack. The game itself is almost great. The problem with Heavy Barrel as a game is that you can't see what power-ups you're collecting. Which is kind of a big problem with the way that game's designed. Yeah. I don't know. I can maybe see the, like a good game being designed kind of like this. Doesn't quite come together for this one, though. No. Okay. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> that's the whole game. Five rounds and I win. Well, that's fling ball, I guess. It's the kind of thing that maybe could be fun with a second player. It's, it's more of a game than the penalty kick one, but... Let's see, we've also got... A doll. <laughs> so, they they took out the two-player mode. So, why would you want to play this version? Oh, because uh, you're catching... I'm, I'm sorry, what, what am I looking at? So, I'm, I'm trying to catch, like... I'm trying to, like, shoot at, like, army generals. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, that is the world's longest mouth. God, can you imagine a, an emoji like that? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on there. Okay, but there are there is a third version of this. Let's see if I can get this to work. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Puppet show. <laughs> What is this? But is the bad cover of B Wings? I couldn't even tell. <laughs> that's if, if that's a cover of B Wings, the worst cover I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> Teenage Bot Louie. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Anyway, yeah. So that is a uh, fling ball. Well, so what? What do I say to fling ball? It is a game that exists. Oh, is it the ending theme? I don't remember what the ending theme sounds like, to be honest. It's one that I tend to forget even exists. Like, I forget that B-Wings even has an ending sometimes. And that just doesn't go on forever. You know what? It's better than the Zelda game. I'd rather play it than the Zelda game. And yeah, I'd probably... No, I'd probably put it like here. There we go. There's, there's Fling Ball. Okay, you know what? Uh... See, I'm kind of getting a headache from playing these games, i got to be honest. So, you know what? I think I'm going to make this the final one for today. Oh, hold on. Uh... I messed up. There we go. Oh, yes. Welcome to Food Fight, one of the all-time greatest Atari 7800 games. Let's see if they've butchered it. Because I'm curious. Let's go for the uh, intermediate difficulty. Okay, so they tried to do the music, I guess. Except they, they did it kind of... <laughs> okay, and the, the, the chef just appears out of nowhere. As opposed to, you know, coming out of the hole like they're supposed to. It's like, nope, you just get spawn killed. Okay, well, this has got that animation. So I'll give them some credit. They kept the animation. Oh, uh, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Except, yes, I did. Because that worked. <laughs> See, that animation still amuses me. I wonder if they kept the, um... What was it? The the video like replay feature? Because that is a thing on the Atari 7800 at least. It might have been a thing on the arcade version, but I can't tell. Actually, what killed me there? I couldn't even tell. Is that yellow thing? Does that hurt you? I don't think it does normally. Yeah, this is not a great representation of Food Fight. I've played worse. Uh, see most of the other games I've played today, but... 
Ooh, Crystal Castles. See, thankfully, um, Atari 50 does have the arcade versions of both games. So, where's the fourth chef? Ooh. No, let, no, I want that fourth chef. Let's, uh, let's try Expert. If I go to, like, level 7, does that... Will the fourth chef appear there? Okay, so they do have all four of them. It just takes a while for the fourth one to appear. Yeah, take that Angelo... Deaton, Alfredo, and Chicken. I, I don't know. God, I'd like to finish this list by the end of the year so I don't have to play these anymore. Also, what's the difference between Expert and the other difficulties? It doesn't seem to be any harder, as far as I can tell. I'm pretty sure the chefs are more aggressive on Expert, usually. Yeah, seems to be pretty much the same. Also, yeah, the... Um, Placement of all the objects and everything is random, which is consistent with um, Food Fight. <laughs> yes, the the classic game Alfred and the Fedek. I, yeah, I, I wish I was playing Alfred and the Fedek. I guess I can't say I'm too excited to play a game called Alfredo, also known as Alfred and the Fedek. It doesn't seem to have the replay feature, though. Or maybe I'm just not good enough to, to get that. Okay. Oh, they're getting aggressive now. Look at this. Also, they can only shoot in eight directions, whereas um, I'm sure in the Atari 7800 version they can shoot in whatever angle they wanted. But Charlie Sport was kind of a dick move when you can only shoot in eight directions, so I'm, I'm kind of glad they leveled the playing field for this one. Though the chefs also seem to be kind of idiots in this version, too. Considering that their entire AI just walk towards you and not really make any effort to walk into, like, you know, the food. Yeah. So they just make a beeline towards you, even if that's not strategically the best thing they could do. <laughs> liquid filth. <laughs> if only. If this game had liquid filth in it, it would be the best game ever. Oh. Uh. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, that animation does not look right. Like, the food is still there after it's been thrown. Like a team kill there. Look like it. <laughs> I love that face when you get hit, though. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> just instant game over. It's just, oops. That's it. So I don't like the double wide pixels like the Commodore 64 game. It's kind of weird. But uh, we're not done with Food Fight just yet. Because guess what? Yep, they made a reskin version of it too. Nut Cracky. I don't even know what they were trying to say with that title. So yes, to save the princess. So yeah, basically they've made it like... I don't even know what theme this is supposed to be. You're like a toy soldier rescuing a... Is it a toy princess maybe? That's my guess. Um, so they've taken out the difficulty option. And... Yeah, just reskinned it, pretty much. Yeah, also, there are some versions of this where some of the text is missing. Which I, I don't really get that. This is it. This is the game. I mean, it is just food fight, but worse. I think it plays exactly the same as well. Some of these, they kind of make gameplay changes. Uh, this is not one of them, though, I don't think. They will notice that the hitboxes, again, are kind of broken. Which I think might be the same problem with um, the food fight itself. Oh, also notice that sometimes it spawns you right next to an enemy, which is totally fair. <laughs> food fight, the best movie you've found in Poundland. It's better than this, I'm sure. Um... Yeah, I've got a bit of a, a headache, so I'm going to go off and nurse that and uh, leave you all to your evening. Hopefully, uh, on the next stream, we can get to the letter G. Um, actually, I'm not sure how far we are into this. I'm, I'm taking a look at how many games are on this list. So, actually, we are currently... Actually, actually no... Thinking about it. 
might be worth to keep going on for. No. Ugh. Don't, don't want to go on. Because, okay, so currently we've got 98 games. And if this were games from any other company, maybe I would consider keep keep going to 100. But, yeah, considering who we're dealing with, I think I might leave the uh, remainder of the games for next time. So, game number 98. Uh, yeah. Food fight. I mean, it's not a, it's not a very good version of food fight, but you know what? Still better than most of these other games. It it is, it is at least a game. You know, it, it is a game that you can play, and it kind of makes sense, though the hitbox is still kind of broken on it, which again seems to be a theme with these games. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick that right here. So hey, we're finished on a sort of positive note. So there we go. Anyway, yes, I will leave you all to your evening and hope you take care. And I hope to be back with another stream in the middle of the week. So take care. Enjoy, uh, enjoy your day.